Hello, welcome to a new video of the Work With Plus course. In this video, we are going to see the alternatives that Work With Plus has to organize transactions. If we look at the transaction, currently Work With Plus by default adds all the attributes of the transaction in a node called Panel. This node allows you to add various controls within it. The panel works the same way a table works. If we see here, these have the same properties that the table has. Here we have the panel with its properties, and here we have the properties of the table. We can define its type with the type property, which in this case is responsive. The panel has different types of design, which we can see simply by clicking on the preview. For example, we are going to change the style and color of this panel. We click on it, and we will see that this menu will appear. We click here, which is on a brush, and we will change the style. We will place it with border. And we will change the color too. We are going to put it in orange. And here we can change our panel from the preview. We can add as many panels as we want to distribute our attributes. For example, we are going to add another panel to place within the second level grid of the transaction. For that, we right-click Add Panel, and here we can see our added panel. We are going to add the title Email. We will cut the table Table Left Level Email, and we will paste it on our panel. And now I will show you our panel created with the respective email table. The panel can also be collapsed at runtime or already collapsed by default. To do this, we are going to select the panel that we have created and set the collapsed by default property to true. And in this way, our panel will already be collapsed by default. Now let's test it on runtime. We will see that it is separated into two panels and one of them is collapsed. We click here and the panel is displayed. Another way to distribute controls is through tabs. Let's right-click here on Tab Content. We select Add, Tabs. Tabs is a control that allows us to add several tabs within it. Within this, we have already added the first tab. Here we are going to add the name General Information. Here we can see the name of our tab. Let's cut some attributes from our panel and pass them to the tab. We will give person ID and person birth date. We cut them and pass them to the other. Now we will add another tab. Let's right click on the tabs node and select add tab. We are going to name this other data. And here we can see it. Now we will cut the remaining attributes that were in our panel we will add them to our new tab. We paste them here. And if we click on other data, we will now see that the attributes have been pasted correctly. We see that all the attributes are here. In our new tab, other data. Lastly, we will add another tab. We will call this email. And we will place the sublevel grid on this one. Here we cut the grid, pasted it into the table, and here we had the email grid. Finally, we eliminate the control panels since they have been left empty. Delete and we delete the panels. We simply have our tabs left. Let's see it in execution. And we see that it is distributed in three tabs, and these are our respective tabs. The way we generated our tabs was manual, that is, we did it by hand. But Work With Plus already provides a template to do this. While in the transaction, we go to the configuration and click Change Select Template. This opens the template selector with all the available templates that we have for the transaction. Here we can choose the tab template which automatically generates the same screen that we made previously. 
In this case, we are going to choose the template called Wizard Bullet, which is similar to Tabs. This is the template. But with the difference that this one has a step-by-step -step wizard where we can create all the steps that are necessary. We are going to click Apply to our template. Here are the different attributes we have. We go to Apply and automatically what we have done with the tabs will be replaced with the wizard. Let's give it a run. By default, two steps are added. To navigate between them, we must click on the Next button. And previous to go back. And when positioned on the last step, we will see the Confirm button, which when clicked will save the registration data. And our record has been successfully saved. Here we can see it. Later we will see a wizard template, which is more advanced and provides us with more functionalities. We invite you to subscribe to our channel so that you are always up to date of our upcoming videos. See you soon!